think currently the state of New Hampshire has some tremendous assets along the lines of gaming. Um, I think the Lottery Commission, who we have dealt with since 1983, and the sales of lottery tickets, the operation of sweepstakes races, um, and they had uh, regulated bingo and Lucky Seven uh, for a number of years. And the Racing and Charitable Gaming Commission, which uh, currently regulates uh, bingo, Lucky Sevens, carry mutual wagering, uh, and games of chance. Um, I guess my, my personal belief is uh, you should utilize all the assets that you currently have and build upon them. I do not believe that either of these commissions have the capability of governing all of the gaming that may take place uh, within the state. And that some type of combination with additions, and particularly additions of um, specifically talented individuals in the gaming industry, uh, will ultimately provide you with the most efficient uh, process in which to regulate this industry. There's an awful lot of commonalities between what's currently happening in charitable gaming and what may happen in the event of a uh, proposed casino legislation would pass and uh, whatever type of casino or slot parlor or whatever type of gaming the legislature ultimately decides would be appropriate for this state. And I think that you want whoever is governing a potential casino to be working somewhat along the same lines as whoever is governing the charitable gaming that takes place. Uh, charitable gaming currently has uh, table games, probably the most difficult portion of a casino uh, facility to regulate, and uh, they have considerable experience and expertise in that at this point. At the same time, uh, as the two gentlemen before me, Technology is expanding rapidly in that industry. Uh, the potential that table games can be operated um, with RFID chips and the ability to track uh, basically every transaction that occurs uh, is a very long uh, reach from where we were five, ten years ago in the table game industry. No one in New Hampshire currently is utilizing this technology because it's rather expensive. Um, but it's available out there and in a, uh, an appropriate commercial facility uh, that should be something that is, is uh, capable of being done. Um, your typical slot machines or video lottery machines, any of your electronic gaming, uh, I think is very easily tied into a central system. Ultimately, it depends on the uh, requirements the state of the regulatory body has uh, in uh, regulating those machines, but it's been done. It's easy. Uh, ultimately, you can, you know, whether you talk with GLI or whether you talk with any of a dozen other companies out there who are involved in that process, uh, I think it's very easy to see what is capable of being accomplished. And, uh, can provide you an extremely secure uh, operation in conjunction with whoever your licensed operators are. Uh, but I do believe that you have an awful lot of talent uh, existing in the state, and I think you should utilize that. I do not believe that creating a whole new uh, branch uh, is going to work well. Uh, as we've seen in Massachusetts, uh, who passed legislation, I think it was three years ago now, still having difficulty with uh, their brand new commission that is trying to figure out exactly what they're doing. I know in the racing end, you have people who had never seen the inside of a racetrack before who are now regulating uh, the racetracks in Massachusetts. Uh, on the casino end, uh, again, you have some people who had never seen the inside of a casino until they were on that commission, and they've taken a number of trips since then, but um, I, I, I think you have a lot of that experience in-house, and I think you should utilize it. You should add to it, um, and hopefully you would add to it in a manner that would uh, make the process reasonably efficient, 